What's up everyone, I'm developer Gus and today I'm going to show you how to set up Tailwind CSS in a brand new project. And more importantly, I'll show you the one VS Code extension you absolutely need to make coding with Tailwind a total breeze. Alright, so here I am on my desktop. The first thing you'll need is to make sure you have Node.js installed because we need its package manager which is called shorthand npm node package manager. If you don't have it, just Google Node.js and download the LTS version. So all you have to do is go and Google Node.js. Yes. It'll be the first option from the Node.js.org website. Now I've already created this folder called how to install Tail Tailwind CSS. I'm gonna open it and I'm here inside of that folder already in Visual Studio Code. And first things first, let's open up the terminal in VS Code. You can go to Terminal, click on New Terminal. So there's several things we need to install. First, we need to initialize our project. So we're going to type npm, npm init-y. The dash y just skips all the questions and says yes to everything the terminal asks, asks me. And it's going to generate this new file, which is a package.json. Let's clear the terminal. We need to install Tailwind and a couple of other dependencies. So I'm going to type npm install. I'm not going to add the dev dependent, uh, these dependencies, I'm not going to add them in development mode. Okay, I'm going to add Tailwind. CSS all together. Post CSS at Tailwind CSS dash post CSS. So let me make sure that's correct. Yeah, the second one obviously would now we don't need. All right, and what else? I think that's 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 it. Yeah, just. Uh, oh, we're missing one. Tailwind CSS forward slash CLI. Okay, now hit enter. And uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to install those three dependencies. So they are now right here in the, of the package JSON. All right, what's the next step? We need to install several things. I'm going to create the post css.config.mjs file. I think that's correct. Let me let me make sure that's right. Cuz I do yeah, the post css.config.js not mjs. I don't know. js Yeah. And here I'm gonna write the following export default opening brackets plugins Tailwind forward slash OCSS. Okay. Now let's um install something else. The Tailwind dot config dot js file. Here I'm going to type the following. Yep, just like that. Inside the content array, I'm going to write the following, just like that. Now, what else do we need? We need, I'm going to create a folder called source. Inside here, I'm going to write, create the file called index.html and input.css. I'm going to paste some boiler play HTML instead of the index.html file. I'm going to change this to that. 
And then what else? What are we missing? Um, yeah, let's go back to input.css. So Tailwind version 4. So we're, right now we're focusing on Tailwind version 4. All we need. Okay, we don't need Tailwind base, Tailwind components, or Tailwind abilities. We don't need any of this because we're working with Tailwind CSS version 4. Now, let's go back to the package.json file. See if this works. Inside of the scripts, I'm going to write the build command. But this needs to be, I think, npx win dash. I think that's right. So let's run npm run build execute the npm run build command let's see if it works look it did generate the distribution folder and the file so it is working let's clear clear the terminal and run npm run build again oh sorry i forgot to write minify that's good yeah i like minify and then dash dash watch because we don't want to run npm run build to execute that command every time we make a change in the, the input CSS file. We don't, if we make any CSS changes here, we don't want to go back to the terminal and execute the same command over and over again, npm run build, just because we made one small CSS change. So that's why it's important to add that dash dash watch, um, what do you call it? extra thing you add to the to the command okay this uh, option it's basically a f it's called a flag so npm run build and as you can see in the terminal it's going to keep running so if we were to go back to the index.html file open it inside of visual studio code so you can see the preview and it's now working lower the terminal let's remove these two and you can see a change you can see it's no longer bold what happens if i do this three four five oh, i don't think it goes that high what if i remove text center yeah it still works so i think that's it on how to install Tailwind inside of Visual Studio Code. Let's add and change these classes. For example, P8, I think this is for padding. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of padding. Let me open this index.html file inside of Google Chrome so you can see it better. Let's inspect this. Yep, it added much uh a padding of like 320 pixels which is just too much if we were to change this back to eight how much it's just uh 32 pixels of padding. i'm not totally sure how the padding is calculated don't ask me that but for example you, you can see here other things we added the font bold it had it added a 700 of bold font weight the font size is going to be 2.25 rem or 36 pixels so all these options you can change you just search for tailwind css classes or let's tailwind 4.0 classes I want to see the documentation. I don't want to see a video. So somewhere here are all the. Uh, you can create a grid. All these colors. That's cool. Yeah, I don't use Tailwind that much. I think it's. Uh, yeah, 
I don't use it that much. That's why I'm kind of lost. My first time on the Owen site. Let's go to this one instead. So it has these. We want to use utility classes. That's what I'm looking for. So it has these flex options. For example, there's this, these, um, what you would call it, classes for buttons as well. If, if we were to copy that, what's going to happen? Yep, oh, it created a button. <laughs> So I would, if I were you, I would um, search for utility classes, get, um, get to know Tailwind, the documentation I mean that they have, and that we can start working on making further changes to any of it. Because the documentation is, looks like it's pretty precise, and it shows examples, use cases, and they provide the HTML, the CSS, utility classes that come with Tailwind. So that's how you install Tailwind CSS inside of Visual Studio Code. So in just a few minutes, we set up a full Tailwind CSS project, created an automatic build process, and supercharged VS Code with the flags we added in the package.json file, the, the minify watch, those are all good flags to have. Now you're ready to start building beautiful websites ridiculously fast. If this tutorial helped you out, smash that like button and subscribe to Developer Gus so you don't miss out on more simple to the point web development content.